Hi, today we're going to take a look at some low periodic antennas. Um, they're PCB based antennas, so we set here. Um, looking at the possibility of using these for EMC debug type work. Um, so the first stage of that is to qualify the antenna, um, get its antenna factors, so it's gain um, across the, the frequency of interest. So what we have here is just a, a wee example of the, the PCB antennas. So this is the one we're using. It's designed by a, a radio amateur in America. Um, so we've got a, a couple of men to have a wee play with. Um, the setup I have, I have one antenna here, kind of taped down so it doesn't move. Another one here, we've matched the heights and we set them two meters apart. Um, so to make the measurements, um, well, well, essentially we want to know the antenna here, but to do that, we can measure the return loss, or sorry, the transmission loss, by pointing the two antennas at each other, measure our signal, and then do a few sums and calculate the antenna gain. So to make the measurement, I'm using, well, there's lots of things we could use. Um, uh, a spectrum analyzer with a tracking generator would suffice, um, or we could use a, a full VNA. In this case, I'm using uh, this little low-cost, uh, vector network analyzer from Pico. Um, so if we, let me see, so that's available on our website. Um, you can get the product data here. Um, but I say there's plenty of tools we could use for that. That's just what we're using today. So here's our, our live measurements from it. So we're showing S11 or return on, or sorry, reflection. Um, so it's our return loss measurement, S11, S22, again the reflection on the second port. And the ones we're interested in are S12 or S21, so that's transmission in one direction and the other direction. Here we can see our, our transmission plot. That's measuring from 10 megahertz through to 3 gigahertz. The antennas themselves are specified from 400 meg up to 1 gig. So we're, we're measuring you know, much more than what it's intended for. If we look at the 400 meg to 1 gig, that's basically this bit, where it looks nice and kind of sensible. And that's shown by uh, low magnitude, minus 30 dB-ish. Um, so I'll just step out of the way so we can, can see it properly. I'll see I'm right in the middle of the antennas there. So that's our, our live data based on two meter distance. Um, I've saved these results off, so went then file, save measurements. Um, we can save either full touchstone files or we can just do CSV files of log magnitude and phase for any one of the four S parameters. So I just went with S21, log magnitude and phase, and saved that off to a CSV file. <coughs> So, to, to kind of get consistency, um, for EMC we're likely to be measuring or working at short distance at kind of one meter rather than two, um, depending on the size of your lab. So I've repeated this test at one meter, two meters and three meters, and again just exported the data to Excel. Let me pop over to Excel. Okay. So that's literally just our measurement data brought in. Um, so that's our magnitude of one meter, two meters, three meters, and the, the full um, response right through to three gig. So taking sort of 200 points. Um, now to relate that S21 measurement to um, antenna again, do a little sum based on the free space path loss equation. So basically we just rejig that, we can get a, an antenna gain down to half the S21 minus 27.6 plus 20 log frequency plus 20 log distance. So distance does factor into the equation. So in theory all things being equal, although I tested at 1, 2 and 3, my antenna gain figures should be the same. So if we have a wee look, 
Um, that was just our S21 measurement, and as the distance increases, the signal level decreases, as you would expect. Further away you are, weaker the signal. Um, we can also see on the three meter path, there's a couple of strange looking spikes there that don't quite look real. I'm not quite sure what happened. Um, maybe the antenna wasn't properly aligned. Um, but anyway, that's the, the measurement we got. So, if we then do the sums and plot that as antenna gain, Button. Okay, so this is now our antenna gain figures again across the full 3 gig bandwidth. You can see um, between 400 and 1 gig, it works quite well. There's a, a big blind spot around 200 meg, and there's, there's still some good resonances further out, so there is some response all night um, above 1 gig, and there's some response down here around 100 meg. Well, our key bit is in the centre here, so we'll just zoom in on that. Okay. <coughs> so again, our three metre measurements got these spikes in, which I'm not convinced are genuine. If we look at the one and two metre, there's a good consistency there, which kind of ties up that the, the equation does um, include distance. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, the purple line is the antenna factors as supplied by the manufacturer. <coughs> um, so yeah, there's uh, no huge difference. Um, they have a very different test methodology. This is the antenna factors he came up with. It's based on, I think there's going to be 10 points in that. Whereas we've got sort of like 200. Um, and there's what, about 3 dB discrepancy. I think this was measured at long distance as well, so uh, maybe not really representative for what we want to be doing. But that's our antenna factors, our antenna gain, uh, as measured to real antennas, um, doing the sums. Now that we have our antenna gain, we can use that with a spectrum analyzer. We can load the antenna gain so it compensates the um, results we get to make absolute measurements. Um, same as you're doing your EMC chamber, um, whatever chamber you go to, the, you know, the, the guys that run it will have loaded antenna factors for their chamber, their antenna, preamp, etc. So as they can make an absolute measurement of your device under test. So that's what we're going to do next. Um, if you want to tune in for part two, we'll move on to the spectrum analyzer and make use of these figures. Thanks a lot.